DMM Technology asked me if I would like to try some of their servos, and I was like, I sure would. And this is one of their motors, and it's like a stepper motor, except it's quieter and it can run a lot faster. And I've been experimenting with shooting marbles with it. And with the motor also able to move very gently, I built this loader thing for it so it can automatically pick up more marbles and shoot them. So this motor connects to their controller which gets power from the power supply and it connects over serial to a PC using a USB serial adapter and I'm just sending it commands from a Python program to do these various things. I'm not sending it steps, I'm just telling it this acceleration, go here, go there. So this flings the marbles pretty hard but I can't get through this cardboard here. Whereas one of these slingshots I made for the kids will do that no problem. Okay, it usually does it. So now I'm wondering if I can fling a marble through the cardboard with that motor. Maybe I just need a longer throwing thingy. So this motor shaft has got two flat faces on it, which I guess is ideal for a pulley with two set screws on it. This one's only got one. But I just kind of use a square opening to take advantage of this square part here. And here's my new throwing arm, which is quite a bit longer. I raised the motor up a little bit so that I have more room to accelerate before releasing the projectile. And I moved everything to the workbench uh, laptop computer to command it. Here's the controller and the power supply. And I added more boxes to catch the marble because it might release prematurely from that spoon. So that arm actually went all the way to here, but it must have released around here because that marble shot way up. So I gotta carve that spoon a little bit deeper so that the marble doesn't get flung out from centrifugal force. So it may not have been just the shape of this cup. I think I wasn't giving the motor enough time to swing around like that because I was giving it the command to return too early and this longer lever takes longer to accelerate so it wasn't enough time. So I'm just running into a problem when I do a dry fire here that is without a marble on here. I run this and then nothing happens. This thing just kind of shuts down and looking on here the light is completely off but I've also noticed the power supply light on here goes off so I think I'm overloading things. This thing says it'll draw up to 16 amperes and this thing is rated for 7.3 amperes but it may even be worse because it cuts out when I'm trying to decelerate my little lever here which basically means the motor ends up sending energy back into here and that may not like it. So I'm going to scope that out. So this is where the throw happened and after accelerating my lever it had to slow it down and the controller just sends all the energy back into the power supply which caused that to go higher voltage and that made it big time unhappy because it's just shut right off. And after that this power supply needs to stay unplugged for a while before it's happy again. I just added this capacitor to stabilize the voltage a bit. Uh, try again. Yes! So there's just a little wiggle on the supply voltage now, so that cap takes up everything. I guess it's a lot bigger than the ones in the supply itself. So that kept hitting that same spot pretty consistently. And the back of this box is kind of banged up too where they hit on the back. Gotta glue some kind of stop on there to keep those marbles from overshooting. Ow. And tweaking my code, sometimes it just doesn't seem to work right. The way I'm using this servo is I keep changing the acceleration parameters on the fly, so I've got low acceleration going this way, and then too high acceleration going that way. But if I shorten one of the delays just a bit, it behaves entirely different. With the shortened delay, the low acceleration motion this way doesn't complete before I tell it to go that way, which means that high acceleration doesn't become active until the motion after that. I think normal usage would not be changing the parameters on the fly like I do. 
Unfortunately, this catapult isn't fast enough to puncture regular corrugated cardboard, so I'm limiting myself to box board. I did try making a longer throwing arm, but I'm limited by the torque of the motor, so the longer arm doesn't actually get me any more speed. Now, it's a bit silly that this thing always hits the same spot, so I made myself a rotating target. Uh, this is a different sort of stepper motor, and I've got this thing here that I can rotate, but this not being a servo that can give commands via serial, I have to drive it with pulses, which required using a Raspberry Pi, but that means to keep everything in sync, I'm just also driving this one from the Raspberry Pi, so now the Raspberry Pi sequences everything. First time running it all together, it actually works. Uh-oh. Doesn't always penetrate. So maybe I'm including too many clips of this thing shooting marbles, but I just find it so funny to watch how it so gently picks up the marble and then just whacks it. Oh, it's shooting in the old holes now. <laughs> I was curious about the speed of the marble, so I filmed it in slow motion and timed it. It's actually only 20 meters per second. And that means at the point of release, the motor was only doing 1250 RPM, but that motor can run four times faster. It's just that over that one third turn, I couldn't accelerate it any faster. So I've been having loads of fun with this servo motor, and it's also been a really good exercise in learning how to control it and pushing the boundaries of what it can do as well as comparing it to stepper motors. Now DMM Technology didn't have a whole lot of code examples for how to talk to one of these motors, so I'll upload my Python script that I used, which is actually pretty compact, so hopefully people can find it if they're looking for how to control these motors. Well, I'm planning on making another video exploring more of the limits of servo motors like this. With this combination of precision and speed, they can be used for just about anything. The only problem is they cost more. But uh, industrial CNC's and servos all use pretty much servos like that exclusively. But that said, there's still some things that conventional stepper motors or closed loop stepper motors can do a little bit better. And I'll explore that in an upcoming video. And the fun with the boys got interrupted by my wife calling us for dinner, but I just had to continue running it later until the outer circle fell off completely.